all right y'all welcome back to the channel and to another turkey pattern testing video here we've got a new choke today that i'm excited to see how it performs but first off if there's any wind noise i apologize today is a breezy day and the weather's been terrible recently so we're having to work with what we are given i'm trying my best to manage it and work around it but it is what it is now as for that new choke that i was talking about I went and picked up one of these guys. This is a True Glow Gobble Stopper Extreme. It's a 665 constriction, and it was definitely a budget choke. It was only like 29 bucks or something like that. So can this $30 choke essentially perform with some of the better, more way more expensive chokes? I don't know. There's definitely a chance, but we're gonna find out. And as for what gun we're gonna be running out of, We've got, back out again, the Remington 1187 Premier, which has definitely shown some very good performances so far on the channel. And as for the load we're going to be testing, I figured why not start with a safe bet. These are the Longbeard XR, the 3 inch 12 gauge, 1200 feet per second, 1 and 3 quarter ounce load of 5s. Now those Longbeard 5s have definitely performed pretty well out of this gun before. So I figured it'd be a safe bet since they are a very reliable shell and a very reliable performer in most setups anyway. So as per usual, I've got a turkey target set up over here at 40 yards from the bench. So let's head over there and put these Longbeard 5s through this new True Glow Gobble Stopper Extreme 665 Constriction Choke and see if this budget shell and budget choke combination can put an impressive pattern down on the paper. All right, we're all set up at the bench at 40 yards with this new True Glow 665 Gobble Stopper Extreme. So let's run these Longbeard number fives through this 1187 and see what that True Glow can do on the paper at 40 yards. All right, y'all, so this is what we got out of that Gobble Stopper. I gotta say, that is impressive for that cheap of a choke. Now, yes, it is to the left. Some of that I think might be my red dot, but it, the wind today, with the wind, it's also blowing from right to left on your screen right now, pretty stiffly, 10 to 15 miles an hour or so. So that may have nudged it over a little bit more. I'm gonna have to hold to the right or adjust my red dot or something, I do believe, because this is becoming a common theme for that gun. But man, that is a hot core for lead Longbeard 5s. Now, yes, we do see a few of these flyers around the edge of the paper over here. But for that core right there, I can't complain too much. A budget load and definitely, definitely a budget choke. I mean, like 28 to $30, somewhere in that range. I think it might have been $29.99. That is no doubt a good pattern right there. That will absolutely kill you a turkey every day of the week. I gotta say, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far out of this True Glow Gobble Stopper. And it seems like these Longbeard 5s might just like that 665 constriction because they did pretty well in that Avian X Crusher 665 too. So it seems like these Longbeard 5s might like that 665 constriction. But I can't lie, that is pretty impressive for a super budget off-the-shelf choke like that. There's really no complaints out of me on that one. All right, y'all, so what do you think? I gotta say, I am really impressed with that $30 gobble stopper choke so far. I know those Longbeard 5s are good performers, but you can't lie, that core right there... I mean that's a that that's a soccer ball size just ball of shot going down range. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Yes, there were a couple flyers around the outside edge, but it's lead load, a budget lead load at that through a really budget choke. You can't ask for anything better than that, I don't think. For a baseline, for its first showing, first performance on the channel, that is good. That, we've set the bar high with that one, I do believe. I would take that out any day. That will absolutely stone a bird at 40 yards. 
and probably a good distance farther than that as well. That's pretty impressive for what it is, you gotta say. So as usual, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. I was really surprised by that, and I think a lot of you guys will be as well. That was an impressive performance, especially for its first showing on the channel. You can't get a whole lot better than that in my opinion. For a budget choke, a budget lead shell, and being one that we have no experience with so far yet, and just taking a guess as to what might be a good initial setup. I can't complain about that. So good luck as y'all are out there turkey hunting this spring. Leave me a comment, let, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've gotten a turkey yet this spring if you've been out. And with that being said, I'll see y'all in the next one.